matter is everything we see around us. So it's glass, it's wire, it's plastic, it's our bodies, we've got flesh here, soft flesh, matter, we've got the bony bits in between. We've also got matter in our mouths, that's the spit we've got in our mouths, that's very important when we try to eat, helps us to chew things. We've got our we, which is very important, that comes out the other end, because that's the, the liquid that is going to purify our blood. And then we've got gases, we can see, just blow on your hand, you can feel the air coming out, that's a gas, that's also matter. Take your bicycle pump, you can feel the air coming out from your bicycle pump. So we've got gas, we've got air, which is gas, and that's part of the matter that is all around us. Now there's a very simple difference between solids and liquids and gases. So I take my rubber ball, I put it in the flask, it doesn't take the shape of the flask. The solid remains the solid as it was when I put it in the flask. But if I take some liquid and put it in the flask, then the liquid takes the shape of the flask. So that's a very important difference. The liquid flows to take the shape of the flask. If I tip the liquid out, then what I've got left in here is gas. I've got air in the flask. Solid, liquid, and gas. Now, things change from one of these states of matter to another. Solids, if you heat them, become liquids. Liquids, if you cool them, become solids. So here's some treacle, sort of thing I have on my porridge at breakfast. So here's a nice, this is this treacle you, you see, nice sort of, sticky stuff, but it flows. It doesn't flow that quickly, but it does flow. Liquid is, treacle is a nice liquid. What do you think happens if I put some of that treacle into a bowl of ice? 